All right, how's it going everybody? Today I am at Stricker's Grove in Hamilton, Ohio. Um, this place is pretty cool. They're only open, actually pretty small too. They're only open uh, four days a year to the public. Uh, this being one of them, October 13th. It's a really nice day. I'm here to get the two classic wooden credits, um, Tornado and Teddy Bear. So that should be pretty cool. They're over here. And I believe I'll probably be able to get on-ride stuff for you guys. We'll see. Here we go. When you enter Stricker's Grove here, it's only $14 admission for um, adults and kids over two years old. Under two, you get in free. Um, but yeah, it's $14 admission, and then you get a bunch of free food, uh, popcorn, stuff like that, uh, free drinks and everything, which is actually really nice as well. And then over there is where all the attraction stuff is. Um, but yeah, if you guys are ever in this area on the days that they're open to the public, um, I highly recommend coming here. It's a cute little park. It's charming. Um, it's a nice place to come kill an hour or two. It's really great. All right, so this place is usually rented out for uh, private events. Um, however, it is, like I said, open to the public every once in a while. Um, and so this is the amusement park kind of area of Stricker's Grove back here. This is where the two coasters are. You've got the smaller classic coaster, Teddy Bear, and then behind it, you see the red one, uh, Tornado. You've also got, you know, some, I think those are supposed to be teacups. I haven't seen that ride around, so I'm not sure. Uh, you, you got a scrambler, tilt-a-whirl, um, electric rainbow, which is a similar to Revolution at Holiday World. I'm not even sure what that ride uh, is called. And so, yeah, it looks like a pretty nice place, and we're gonna check out the uh, coasters and stuff. I think I'm gonna start with Teddy Bear, which I just walked past. Just rode Teddy Bear. That was solid. It actually had some good forces for a classic wooden kitty coaster. Uh, it gave me a little bit of ejector on that first drop and uh, had a little bit of laterals on it, which was actually pretty cool. I was not expecting that. Uh, I'll probably try to snap these later and see what, see what they do. I'm actually going to ride this right now because this line looks kind of long. I don't know if it'll go up or down while I'm on this, but I'm gonna ride this anyway for the moment. So comparing this to Revolution at Holiday World, I like that one better still. I feel like it's more forceful. However, this one didn't spin as fast, so it was a little bit more wild in that sense. Um, but I recommend riding if you're here because it's pretty fun. 
Um, I'm now just I'm just gonna get in line for a tornado because it didn't get any longer or shorter. I'm just gonna do it. still have some crazy ejector. Wow. So one thing I wasn't expecting about this place was it does get pretty crowded. It does fill in uh, the days that they are open um, for the public because, you know, probably for that reason. But yeah, it is, it's not, you know, it's not empty. It's pretty, pretty crowded, kind of cool to see this, a uh, small park like this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, I just finished riding everything I wanted to at Stricker's Grove. Uh, Tornado has crazy ejector. There's one of the hills that like absolutely just launches you out of the seat and you just go flying. And it, it even like started to pull my pants down. That's how crazy ejector it was. Uh, I met a really cool enthusiast, Bill. What's your uh, Instagram name? And Thrill YouTube? Seekers and Hellraisers. Okay. One word. Thrill Seekers and Hellraisers. Check out his uh, Instagram and YouTube channel. I'm about to head out. Uh, had a good day here at Circus Grove, um, and it was really cool to meet you. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.